Good morning everyone, we are here with the shutdown and we are going to have a few words with him. Good morning sir, welcome to Dominica. Thank you. We appreciate you coming to assist. Um, we, we do it gladly. How important is it for you to be here today in Dominica? It's quite important to, to be able to help to, to search the, for the girl and the perpetrator. So we came with, uh, with our canine unit and uh, sadly we, we picked up the, some smells of the girl that li she lives but she lives on the premises, so it's it's normal for her to, for the dog to pick up the smell, the, the smell of the perpetrator that just came once and then left after three days. And the rain, the smell, the, the, the wind, the smells are scattered, so it's harder for the dog to pick it up. And sadly, we weren't, were not able to, to pick up a, a strong uh, enough smell to, to go on a track. So what's next? Uh, next we are um, first uh, returning to uh, Martinique and then if you are tasked uh, to come back again and look at uh, another location uh, for the police and uh, help the community, we'll, we'll do it uh, gladly. So as of now you guys are returning to... Yeah, yeah, we are returning to Martinique first. Okay, well thank you for coming and all the best. Thank you. Bye. All right, this was just a short interview with the Shadam. They came in earlier on, did their search and according to him they are returning and they may be back. So we are heading to the airport right now. We want to say thank you to them for coming and help with this search. As you heard, they deployed their search dog and I'm not sure if they, I don't think they found anything, but they are heading back. I'm good, how are you? You are part of the search this morning. Yes, all right. How important is this search to you? Huh? Well, to tell you the truth, it's very important to me because, as you know, everybody are kids, yeah. and um, it's very helpful to see that the stuff that is going on. And every time you say I think of that, I think of the young youths, and I just tell her, make up myself for me to go out there and do the search. So all the best, and be careful. Yes. Yes. Thank you, yeah. I don't, I don't understand that. Hey. Good morning, how are you? Hey, good. This is MO News Live. Um, you are joining the search team today. How important is this search team? You know, you know, yeah. You attacked me one day it's, before. It. You do that nonsense. Never by us. Hi, how are you, sir? What would you like to say? Well, this guy attacked me one day before he did that stuff. I was up in Bells. He came to ask me for a dollar. And then I was a little aggressive. I wasn't aggressive. I think he would have caught me with a cutlass. Yeah, me and my wife, up in Bells. But I think he's under the bush somewhere because he wouldn't travel that far with the child. Okay, thank yes. you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, the situation now is not just about how important it is for me, but how important it is for the whole country. Because I am very concerned now about farmers out there in the bush and what this gentleman is doing. Apparently, right now, he is to me, he could, he's considered a serial killer and he's on the run and he will keep hurting people. So, I think I'm just happy to be there to help, you know? And I wish more people could come out and it's a national issue and we really have to pay serious attention to that. And if we could get a national day off to do that, that would be good for Dominica. Thank you so much. So, so soldiers expressing themselves. And they are very passionate about this. So here this morning, we have a whole team from the Kalinago territory. They came on a dump truck a while ago. And we wish everyone here a safe journey of you know, in the bush, we have the health team here, and you heard them yesterday. A lot of folks coming back with bruises, lacerations, and, and some um, injuries. So we ask you to pray for the search team as well. It's not easy out there. Well, I'm from Ukraine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? Yes, I'm doing well, thank you. You all came yeah. from the Kalinago yes, territory? Yes, coming from the Kalinago territory. How many of you came from the territory? Today? Well, we have a number of us here. We're just going to be finalized so we know exactly right, how many so people are registered. So they registered you. I'll make sure you guys are registered and they know exactly where you guys are heading to and come back together. Yes, so that's what we're just going to ensure registration is first priority. Mm -hmm. Ensure how many number, how many persons are going out and then we're going to go out to deploy us on the field. Okay, stay safe. So okay, thank you. This is an entire team from the Kalinago territory and they are ready to head out. This is a very serious matter. It's day three in search of a 12 year old Kanisha Etienne. Marigot, Marigot. How are you, sir? I cool on you. Where are you coming from? Marigot. How many of you 
many of you came from America this morning? Um, just my daughter and I this morning. Because she was so angry to, to came down, so I had to support her because I have some work to do, but I say, well, seeing that she want to come, and it's my daughter, it's only one daughter I have. So I said, okay, let me give her the full support and come and support the people and please together. Well, all the best, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay, welcome. So I can only give you an update. The search continues. Tonisha has not been found. This is the base, the command, command center. And uh, folks are registering. I see some people from Pebush arriving now. And as you may heard, we have heard that the young, the father, the biological father is from the community of Dodan. So that's the start of the morning. So folks are getting energized, getting something to eat, getting something to drink because we know it's on eight hours, six hours, ten hours out there in the world. We have a fire officer briefing the Kalinago Brave our indigenous people of Dominica and I'm they know the bush and they can go out there and maybe do some searching as well. We go in, we go in, we just take it away. We don't want us to just be walking a trail, we want us to keep our eyes. We are, we said in all it is, in my opinion, a, a hot spot. Okay? Yes, yes. A hot spot. We, 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 we don't go so in the designated area and come back. You understand that? Yes, sir. How many of you? We, before you go, I want the names of the people that are going. What we will do, I understand everybody may want to go. But we're going to split the group in, in two or three. We also want to say thank you to all the donors, the business places and the persons around Dominica who are donating stuff for these people to eat. And uh, Hi, Let's, later on they will need some more food, if you can bring some food, juice, ice, cutleries, plates, box, whatever you can donate, it is greatly appreciated here. Today, earlier we saw donations from Lena's Funeral Home, we saw donations from Fine Food Inc. and from the Diocese of Roseau, the Fairhaven Cathedral, Father Nigel Parham. So thank you to these people who have already donated. Yesterday we saw Dom like donating 100 boxes of KFC. Plus 100 plus slices of pizza. We saw many donations here yesterday. So uh, we welcome all donations at the command center. Please feel free to contact contact us 295-7186 to tell us how you can contribute food items here at Warner. This is Emma News, live at Warner. The search continues on day three for 12 year old Kanisha Etienne. <laughs> All right, so let's stand by. Do not touch me! Do not touch me! Do not touch me! You're not allowed to touch me! You cannot touch me! It's not okay to touch me! Understand that? But he cannot touch me! But, excuse me, I can leave, but do not touch me. We need to know what to do. We are here with no information. Don't tell me where to go. This is my country. I'm a citizen. This is not your country. Who are you? We 
need to know where to go to look at the car. We need information. We need information now. What do you ask? We need information. We need information. We need information. Where to go? Light is going down. How are you? How are you, my lady? This is Emma News Live. Hi, Emma. How are you? I'm not doing very well right now because there are a lot of us who have no clue. We're, we're here willing to help. There is no coordination. No one is telling us, okay, where she may be, what they have found, where we, she, where we may need to look. Let us think for ourselves too, you know. We're here ready and willing and able to go in because this child is somewhere now. And there they're sitting down like there's no urgency and the police officer wants to push me out of there. Why do we have to get to that point? Tell me, why am I here? So why is anybody here? So you need them to work faster. That's all you ask. No, about. we need information. We need to know where to look, what we need to do right now. Why are we here like, like, uh, you know, this is not a party. We're not here to socialize. We're here to look for the child. Why are we here like chickens without a head? Because they have chickens without a head inside there. That's why. Thank you very much. Remember the views expressed here are not those of Emu News. So she's just um, asking for, you know, what should they do? They are just here and they need to be deployed. But I guess the common center, they are in there setting up themselves and organizing the troops to head out. And as you heard earlier, the tr some troops have been out already. Yes. We'll be right back as we bring this story for you as it gets on hold. Yeah, that's right.